Hello, I'm Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com. This is the chart, the full moon, 8th of December 2022. It's set for London and it occurs in the wee hours, as it's known, at 4.08am GMT. Now, always at a full moon, the sun is opposite the moon. That's full moons for you. Here's the sun, 16 degrees of Sagittarius, so halfway through Sagittarius. And this is quite intense. The moon in Gemini is right next to Mars in Gemini. And you will be able to see that in the night sky. You know, the moon will be rising late afternoon. So as soon as it gets dark, look upwards to the sky. And Mars is red, kind of orangey red color. So you will see that moon, it's full. It would be very difficult not to see it. And what does it mean? Well, first of all, Sagittarius is all about truth, higher knowledge, it's the law, it's long distance travel, it's very optimistic and futuristic. And it can, the problem, all planets, or signs rather have difficulties, and the difficulty could be overreaching, you know, being over enthusiastic, dare I say. With Mars activating the picture, this is Gemini. So there's a lot of information or maybe overload of data, communications, emails, just basically questions, that too many questions, not enough answers. So a lot of doubt, but also it's Mars, you know, this is anger, this is irritability, it's very volatile. So be extra careful, I really mean that, not to get caught up in any anger issues. And that can be, as I saw myself last night just watching TV, um, you know, I was getting angry, you know, and I, I don't do anger as such. So that general irritability, look to see where that is occurring in your birth chart, what section or house, areas of your life is being activated by this Mars. It's retrograde. It will go direct next year on the 12th of January. It's kind of stuck in my head that date. But meanwhile, you know, we're having six months of Mars roughly in Gemini. So a lot of questions are being asked throughout, you know, the world at this time. And we need a plan. We definitely all need a plan. Now, looking where is Sagittarius' is ruler, it's Jupiter. Look at this, it's just at the end of Pisces. It's been retrograde, it's moved direct, and it will be moving into Aries, and that will occur, see my notes, when's it going in? On the 20th, so just before the winter solstice. It was in Aries earlier this year, so it promotes all fire signs. So obviously Aries and Leo and Sagittarius will benefit always. If you've got Jupiter going through your sign or one of the signs representing your element, you get a boost. It's as simple as that. It's a great benefic. So then of course it will move away from Neptune. It's in the same sign at the moment as Neptune. Now, this is a fire and air opposition. It happens every year. And fire and air are compatible. If you say, think of that element of fire, it needs air, doesn't it, in order to burn. But this is a difficult full moon because Mars is involved. Coming back to Mercury, we need a plan. Mercury has now just moved into Capricorn. Here it is down here, Mercury, Merc. It's the trickster, it's the communicator, it's the therapist, but it's very serious in Capricorn. And Mercury will be going retrograde. It does it three times a year. So the next one, it will be on the 29th of December at 24 degrees of Capricorn and it will stay in Capricorn from the 6th of December right up until the 11th of February next year. So again, know your chart. What is it doing 
in your chart and because it's so close to Pluto that you can't forget that you know it is very compatible with all earth signs so if you are a Capricorn a Taurus a Virgo this is your it's on your side also earth signs are very compatible with water signs so this is really important to know you the elements in your birth chart and you know where is the Sun you know Sun is Sagittarius now it's fire sign when it moves into Capricorn it's an earth sign and they literally go around fire earth air water fire earth air water fire earth air water I learned this when I began astrology and I still say it I still use that little method of remembering the signs we will have Mars retrograde activating uh, Neptune and uh, it's, it's it's an ongoing thing while it's retrograde so we will be facing you know the Sun is opposite Mars on the 8th this full moon and then we're going to get another you know diff difficulties are up ahead but they are temporary Mar Mars is moving reasonably fast at this time they said not to get caught in irritability and if we are caught in that way or anger itself can be very off of our center and that's where accidents can happen now accidents usually I see with Mars and Uranus that's what I often am very aware of but now with this full moon look at that Saturn trining the moon notice that positive it's very weak in this chart but the weak weakness means the lines are are not as strong as that powerful opposition and that's the whole point about planning you know to put some effort and energy in to overcome procrastination that can be the difficulty in getting your plan organized but also uh, I've just been doing my accounts you know and, kind of, and realizing actually I need to make them a little bit more uh, accessible you know folders it's kind of obvious if you think about it but I, I haven't done that before I just put things on the floor so in my office so this is an advantage to you know planning ahead planning ahead and rather being caught normally I don't know if you're if you're self-employed or not I am you know normally I do it the last minute in January not a good idea because yeah, it makes the whole season feel really heavy going heavy going so that's my thought for the full moon the next new moon will be just after the solstice it will be on the 23rd of December and just to remind you if you haven't noticed before Venus is now an evening star and I'm very enamored with Venus because she is really important in my birth chart but notice you know when Venus moves into Capricorn notice how far away it is now from the Sun here's the Sun 16 degrees Here's Venus 27 it's more than 10 degrees away that means it's now visible it will be quite low on the horizon and each month it will rise month by month higher and higher in the sky so this is a really good time full moon with Mars to look at the night sky I really impress that upon you it's not we are we are so connected to the rise of the seas the seasons the rise and fall of the moon the new moon full moon they are part of us they are part of our soul journey sleep well tonight thank you for watching Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com